Hello YouTube. I was going to try to do a, I don't know how quick of a video it's going to be, but um, a video on installing custom doors with hinges. Um, I got a couple of things here to help me out. Uh, Hingemate 350. It's great for doing your hinges, uh, both on the door and the jam. Uh, one tip I'll give you when you case the door, you put your casing in here uh, before your stop goes on and before your trim goes on, on the outside. That's when you're going to have to use the uh, the jig to actually do your hinges. Because um, if you have the trim already on there, it's kind of a pain. It doesn't work as well. Um, this, uh, this jig right here, plate that's in there, it's actually for the... Um, doorknob plate so but you can you can kind of see here uh, how it sits if you uh, if you already have the trim on if not it uh, it sits in there good with the other plate uh, which matches the hinges you use uh, there's multiple insert plates that go with this kit um, you can do the hinges the doorknobs well the uh, the strike plates uh, doesn't give you a doorknob tool. Uh, does give you the router bit and pretty much everything you need to uh, to hang the door. I've done a bunch of these in this house. Uh, as you can see, this is a a short door. Um, we had to take all of the door slabs and cut them down to the height and the width we needed after we cased in the door frames. Uh, so they're completely custom. That's why they kind of look a little different than the slabs you might see at Lowe's or Home Depot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install the doorknob. There was uh, a video on YouTube for the, the Craftsman doorknob installation kit. It was, uh, it was a little informative. Um, this little piece right here comes with it. And what that does is, theoretically, it it mounts on the edge of the door here once you figure out where your knob is going to be. And that's what you can use this little uh, drill bit tip to kind of router out uh, the outline so you can chisel it out. Honestly, it sucks. It doesn't work. I tried it on the first door. It did a horrible job and basically I uh, I went back to the uh, Hingemate 350 set and I got my template out uh, to use with my router and that uh, that does a superb job. So um, with that being said, we're gonna move forward. Uh, the uh, strike plate there, I already mortised in uh, when I cased the door. Uh, before I put the trim and the stop on, uh, mortised it in is 36 inches. So what I've been doing is shutting the door, getting my center mark for 36 inches, and then uh, and then using the Craftsman uh, doorknob uh, bore set to uh, to drill the holes. Uh, this is adjustable for two and three quarters and two and three eighths back set. Um, I went with the two and three eighths because a couple of my doors I had to make thinner here and they actually ran in a little further so I checked them all to make sure two and three eighths was going to clear on them all which it did and so that's how I came up with the two and three eighths. Uh, one thing I did figure out is if you don't pay attention and you set this jig on there upside down it uh, puts it a little off center. It's not a huge deal. But when you go to put your uh, your knob latch in, your hole is a little off centered, and you got to putty it in. So uh, make sure you pay attention. Put it on there. It does have a little bit of play. Kind of pay attention to where it's at to center it up. All right, I'm gonna uh, set the camera down and do a couple of marks, and then I will move forward with drilling the holes. Okay. So I got my center mark from where I did my 
strike plate. I'll just transfer that over pretty close to the outside of the edge of the door. Shut the door, transfer that over to the door, which will center the knob on the strike plate uh, mortise that's already there. Transfer that center line across the side of the door. Make sure I'm going up with the Craftsman. And I just kind of eyeball it, center it across the borehole there. Okay. Make sure that's centered up pretty good. You can use the screws that come with the doorknob to mount this to the door. Um, I'm using just drywall screws. These holes will be used to install the, the latch assembly for the doorknob itself. So make sure you don't strip them out. Uh, the Craftsman kit comes with two hole saws. One of them's for the latch, and the other one's for the actual knob hole. Um, so when you drill through the door for the knob hole, just make sure you drill half and half, or uh, what I've been doing is I've been running it through until the tip of the bit peeks out the other side and then I switch over to the uh, to the other direction. Uh, you don't want to run it all the way through because it can uh, chip out the uh, uh, Luan or whatever the surface is. So just kind of try to keep it level. Uh, the guide is plastic so this will eat into it if you uh, get it all crooked and everything. You can see mine's touched a little bit. Uh, I've been using it on about uh, 10 doors so far. Seems to be holding up pretty well. It does have a little play in it, um, but all in all, it's, it's not enough to mess you up. I haven't had any issues with any of the other doorknobs yet. Sometimes half of it will come out. You can just unscrew it and use the bit to push it out if it doesn't fall out on its own. Come back in, line it up with the hole. And that's all it's good. Now you're going to switch out to the smaller bit for the latch. I don't tighten it up a whole lot because I like to be able to take it loose by hand. Um, this one will get fairly warm because it's more solid wood through the side of the door than it is through the face. Um, so this one sometimes will tighten up on you. So basically I'm just gonna go straight into the end there. Try to keep it pretty level and not get into the plastic.
So both those holes are drilled. Yet um, all the other doors I did uh, so far um, have were already painted and completely finished when I did them. Um, it didn't it didn't mar up the paint, mess up anything. I just had to erase my pencil marks. And uh, these these two screw holes here stay. Uh, that's going to be for your uh, latch assembly. So that's when you switch over to your hinge make 350 set. Um, the latches that came with the doorknobs I'm using uh, use the inch by two and a quarter latch plate. Um, there's a center mark that you line up. I transcribed the mark all the way across to help me out on this to help me uh, help me see a little bit. I've still got my marks on there from where I transferred it over from where the latch is on the jam, uh, and I use the same drywall screws to put it on there. So you just want to uh, line that line up with the line on the door and uh, screw it to the door. Try not to move it too much. is a, a Dewalt um, router. This is the tip that came with the hinge mate. I've used it to route hinges on about 11 doors, um, latches, um, all my latch plates. So um, it's, it's been a good bit. I bought an extra one uh, just so I would have it in case I got into a piece of metal or something with this one. So. You just want to be careful when you set it in there that you don't hit the plastic because this again also will eat the plastic up pretty quick. So. check before you take your jig off make you got make sure you got all your wood out um, the bit usually gets it all in two passes because um, it's narrow enough when you do the hinges it uh, it'll do the exterior and then uh, you got to get some out of the middle uh, for the hinges um, it's a square plate but with the guide on the router bit it makes a, a round mortise which is perfect uh, if you do have squared off uh, latches that go in there. The kit actually comes with a nice little um, corner chisel that you set right up in your corners and you just tap it and it pretty much pops it right out for you. So that pops off. You just got to putty these two holes before you paint the door, or like I said, the other ones were already painted, so I just used white caulk and uh, kind of put it in there pretty good and it uh, covered it fine without having to be touched up. So now I gotta drill this hole here. Uh, so what I've been doing is I've been taking the actual latch from the doorknob and I set it in there and I mark my center down the holes here and then I just transfer the center line that's already there back this way. And 
that's kind of what I'm dealing with. And then I take the same hole saw and I drill it out. There again, you, you also want to try to keep that as level as you can. inside and the uh, the piece of wood doesn't come out with it you can just push it in there um, cut those edges off that piece of wood that needs to come out and it'll come right out with it So you can see it does a good job, um, no complaints. I used both of the kits in conjunction with each other and uh, it, did a, it did a good job for me. So I'll take you in here and show you a couple of them that I've already done. Like I say, this is a renovation that we've been working on for uh, several months now. This is one I just did before. Um, the one in the kitchen. The upstairs is pretty much finished. Um, so this is kind of what you end up with. Latch and doorknobs. You can see this one here. Um, I actually had it in a little deeper and it didn't latch. So what I did was I pulled the plate out a little further Took a couple pieces of wood, you can use a toothpick, a shim or something, stick it in the old screw holes and um, snap it off and then re-drill it. So all these doors are custom sized, uh, custom cut. And you can see it really does do a good job. This is an old house built in the 1950s, late 40s, center block house. And we had to come through and make everything work. So you can't get a pre-hung door to fit these openings, especially with the short ceilings up here. I'm, on, I'm under six foot and I can reach up and touch the ceiling up here. So I'll show you one more. Uh, one more piece that comes with the, uh, the hinge mate kit. It's great. Uh, so this is your corner chisel right here. Um, and I'll show you real quick the simplicity of that. So you set that in the corner and you tap that pin with a hammer. It squares it off just like that, and it pops out fairly easy. So this little tool right here is uh, really handy. It's got a, it's got a spring-loaded uh, tip on it. It's kind of hard to pull back. Uh, exposes the drill bit. So what it does is when you're doing your hinges or your strike plates, or whatever um, I'll go. when you drill the hole this this tip is uh, is beveled it goes in there centers the drill bit on the hole so instead of trying to use the drill bit and stick it in the center of the hole and get it to stay center you pre-drill it with this tip so and uh, since it's got this little sleeve on there, it's self-centering and it doesn't mar up your finish on your hinges or your latches and all that. So, all in all, um, I hope this helped. 
And if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully uh, I'll get some more videos out there soon. So just uh, let me know if you have any questions.